Well, four hours to Kansas City. We don't have to be there till Monday. So, what do we do till Monday? Harleyville. We could be there in an hour. That gives us tonight, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and uh, Sunday to recover. Well, what's that Gladstone Landing? Isn't that the place where you rent those large rafts, you take those trips down the Ozark River? Recover from what? You never heard of Harleyville Dude Ranch? <laughs> In Missouri? Oh, it's the latest thing, very, uh, chick. <laughs> you know how it is with me and, and horses. Nah, give me the catfish every time. Think of all those fish just waiting to be rolled in cornmeal and fried. By now, the girls are already bored stiff with cookouts and horses and their first whiff of fresh air. What girls? They're uh, ripe for some avant-garde chatter over a dry martini. They're desperate for contact with the outer world. You and I, my catfish-loving friend, we're the outer world. Let's take the simple life this time, okay? Let's go fishing. Buzz, these are girls from the finest families in Boston, Philadelphia, and New York. They've been sent out here by their parents to get close to nature. Now, you wouldn't want to go against their parents' wishes. Coin. You mean you'd actually prefer a catfish to a... Coin. Call it. Heads. Girls, bah! Who needs them? There you go what? Man, fishing. What do you know? Man, fishing. Yeah, well, of course, to show there's fish in this country. Well, I don't notice him catching any.
a new tire. A souvenir. Just think of those catfish all ready to roll in cornmeal. Mr. Butler, this is Mr. Stiles. Mr. Butler here is a, is a great fisherman. He knows every bend of the river, every little fishing hole from here to uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Mr. Butler, I see you've caught yourself a blowfish this time. Oh, come on, knock it off, huh? Well, if you two anglers will excuse me, I'm going to change your tire. Oh, here, I'll help. Let me help, he says. I heard him. Well, he sure helped. Well, he's a fisherman. He's certainly not a tire changer. in my house. I got a right to get my ring back from Susie. So you'll get it back if you want it. I'm only too happy Susie's got sense enough not to marry you. Tell her to give me my ring. Yeah, he only loaned it to her, you know, in case everything worked out. Which it didn't, and where's witnesses? All right, Susie, give them their ring. 
and good riddance. I, I'd like to, Grandpa, but... Well, I can't. Why not? Yeah, why not? Well, when I, when I broke off with him, I, I took it off and I put it away. Well, then you go get it, dear. Well, well I was scared it would get lost or something. So I hid it. You oh. hid it? It's in your tackle box. Oh, well, and I'll go and get it. Oh. Tackle box? You believe that one, she'll tell you another. She's lying. Now, I want my ring or there's going to be trouble. Well, nobody wants your ring. You get it tomorrow. I want it now. I'll get my father and have you pinched. Well, you see, my brother, he, he'll be here tomorrow. Uh, we're going into business. And now that I got my truck. Truck? You never had enough money in your life even to buy a bicycle. Hey! Hey. hey, man, he's got a truck. Yeah. You sold my ring and bought yourself a truck. No such thing. The truth of the matter is, my brother borrowed my fishing tackle. When he gets here tomorrow, you'll get your ring. You and that hard luck brother of yours. You're no good. Now, you'll see. My father will take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll do it too, Grandpa. No, uh, don't you worry, baby. When your uncle gets here tomorrow, everything will be fine. 